Regardless of what industry you're in, it's a good idea to protect your hearing over the course of your life. Hearing is not just important for listening to or writing music or communication, but like your other senses, hearing is important as a device used to warn you of impending danger, such as a grizzly bear charging you from behind. If you can't hear it coming, you won't be able to whip around and get that 1,200 pound grizzly into a chokehold until it taps out. So protecting your ears from severe hearing loss is a good idea for many reasons, and it's not hard to do. On its most basic level, sound is simply changes in air pressure. And when a stimulus wave hits your eardrum, those air particles, as well as the frequency of the changes in pressure are converted into electrical energy in the brain and interpreted as what we call sound. The amplitude or loudness can be measured using an SPL meter, and there are some basic guidelines set out by OSHA that tell you exactly when you need to be protecting your ears. If you look at this chart, you'll see on the left side the sound pressure level, and on the right side is how many hours of exposure to that level your ear can withstand before it starts doing damage. At 85 decibels, you can pretty much listen all day. At 100 decibels, you can last about two hours before you start damaging your ears. When you get up to 115 decibels, you can only withstand that sound for a few minutes before serious ear damage starts to occur. Some of the more common areas where hearing loss occurs are loud factory jobs, motorcycle and truck driving, loud clubs, and concert venues. In these settings, you should be wearing earplugs all the time. And there's a big misconception about earplugs that I want to clear up. I actually went to an ACDC concert years ago, and it was so loud that my ears were in pain the second the concert started. And the music was jeopardized for loudness. I put my special earplugs in, and they don't prevent hearing, and they just tamp down on the explosive, ear-destroying pressure enough that I was actually able to enjoy the concert more and I could hear with more clarity, not less, because that booming, overpowering bass wasn't destroying my eardrums. I carry these specially made earplugs on my keychain so I always have them with me. I'll put a link in the description down below, but they're great for any situation and they're relatively small so most people don't even notice that you're wearing them. Now how do you know how loud a sound in an environment is? Well, you can walk around carrying one of these and looking like a total nerd, or you can simply download a decibel level app on your phone and use that instead. It's very simple, effective, and discreet. So remember the next time you go out to one of those parties at a super loud club or you go joyriding on a motorcycle, wear your ear protection. In 20 years, the older you will thank the younger you for not destroying your ears. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.